taste contest and then you'll punch it out. Nice. It's like apple cider. Old lady over here smoking cigarettes, not giving a fuck. She's like 90 years old, just like chilling. Okay. In reality, she's like a 50 year old. <laughs> Looks like a 90 year old. <laughs> Takes her teeth out to smoke the cigarette. All in. Old lady of peace. All right, guys. On the bus now. Getting home. Yeah, headed back home. Got my luggage. Got a new gym bag. Um, pretty stoked about that gym bag. I finally throw away my old one. Chalk everywhere in that bitch. Won't have to carry a trash bag. So happy about that. New gym bag, yay! Woo! We're like so close to this bus right here. No, I'm just miring everything around us. Yeah. Now we're in Patanosa Square. Pretty cool. Patanosa Square, yeah. Patanosa Square. Patanosa Square. Yeah. Next to the temple is Cathedral. You guys are having fun. LOA, yeah? <laughs> St. Paul's Cathedral, guys. That's where uh, our boy works. Right by St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh my gosh, this is nice. A little gift shop, lots of stuff, getting stuff for the family. So I just got a whole lot of stuff, spent like 250 bucks. They threw in some free pens at the end. Thanks for the free pens, bro. They're friendly here in London, I love it. Yeah, they're nice. Hey, it's cool and all, but go play in traffic, sir. <laughs> We're about to go and take a picture and eat this. Right there after they move. So. We're gonna hit some Z's poses. So fucking wet. Are we crossing or what? Back at a grocery store, getting more groceries. We go to the grocery store like every other day. And we spend like $500 every day. <laughs> we spend like a thousand, no. But uh, you, gotta, you gotta eat. You gotta eat, man, so. Like this guy said, so many people avoid, you know, taking trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, going places because they fear that they will be able to have food or a refrigerator, a microwave. Or something like that. And Lavado has something to say to you guys. We have it easy in the States, guys. Um, sometimes we complain about higher prices. Nah. We're in the UK and everything is priced. For example, focus on this map. We've been paying this. For example, this small box of strawberries, this is like $5. And that's just typical price right here. Yeah, in the United States, it'd be about $2 like that. So, yeah, if that. Know, it's like if double that. price. So, um, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We have it easy. You know, they, they're telling us they pay. Eight to ten dollars for one small box of pop tarts, for example. It's crazy, yeah. man. So, anyway, stay up, guys. We'll be back. Just side, Abercrombie and Kent. That's where y'all. Yeah. The holy yes. shit. Yeah. The the views are just crazy, man. Yeah. The thing is, you know, when the London was on I fire, yeah. Yeah. And they, I think, they saved just some whole area. They said let the London burn, save some poles. Save this area. So yeah. that's why this wow. is all that's why it's kind of super the old thing yeah. around and everything. It's so epic, I'm glad they did that. Like, how old are these buildings? Hundreds, yeah, how old? Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Yeah. We don't have we don't have stuff like this man. Yeah, these views are epic as dude those pillars, those buildings are so epic to me. They reminds me like made it back safely to twin or thread needles. Our little hotel, yeah. Back at the hotel after uh, fucking, uh, checking out a gym called Gym Box. Really fancy looking gym, but just too much for us, too expensive. But um, tell them how much a day passes. All right, there. It's a cool looking gym and everything. Cool looking gym. Um, you know what? I can't even talk. I'm gonna do this real quick. <laughs> All right, so we just got back from uh, checking out. Um, it's called Gym Box. Gym oh, Box. Shit. Uh, looks like a really cool gym. Uh, we got a tour of it. It was nice, but uh, it's 20 pounds, and um, in American dollars, what is that? Over 30 dollars. So you're looking at 31, 32 dollars for a day pass. It's a little too much for us. So we're just staying at uh, Muscle Works, which is perfectly fine. We love that gym. And right now we're freaking just getting some grub in before I take a nap and wake up and go to the gym, which then we'll go to Nando's again. Broke the 800th time this trip. Um, 
Dude, don't you love that we're having so much fun when so many other people in this world who try to do bodybuilding or contest preps or whatever. So much fun, man. They're fucking miserable. I think it's rooted in the fact, too, that you we know? gave ourselves so much time to do it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, like so many people are fucking just miserable with their whole contest preps. Telling the rock, worrying about every little thing. Yeah, it matters and everything, but um, I think what we see is the grand picture, the 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 grand scale of things, and like we understand that it's like if you're not enjoying your contest prep or enjoying what you're doing in life, then what the fuck is the point? That's more important than anything, actually. Well, for example, it's like uh, it doesn't really matter to me personally how well you do. At a show, first place, pro card, whatever. But uh, if you, if you, deep down, you feel like a piece of shit. What, what was the point? You know, like deep down, you hate your life. Although you may be, you know, you may have money or you may have this, that, success, shredded glutes. Everything comes with a price, and there's always a way to. Uh, I don't know. It all depends on how you enjoy it. Because a lot of people don't enjoy what they do. And uh, we're trying to set an example to show that, wow, you can really enjoy what you do and uh, expand your horizons and do all kinds of different shit while still, you know, having a, having a sick physique while still staying lean, so. Strawberry for you guys. Half natty. Check it out. Half natty. We're waiting for our bus, but our bus fucking, our bus passed us up, piece of shit. Yeah, whatever though. <laughs> bus came by, we're just like <laughs> waiting for the next bus eight and maybe uh, five ten minutes. Okay, that was a sign. I bet going back to Muscle Works. All right, guys, we're on a bus head there. It's kind of tired, I guess. Hey, perfect, bro. So it led us off right where our. Uh, Right where our fucking place is. Dude, that's the fucking way to Ah, fuck. We made it, guys. We're currently in Muscle Works Gym. And we just want to show some love. Really cool gym. They're letting us film here. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. Five pounds a workout. Uh, we got a deal on a, on a week pass, so that was pretty nice for them. Kind of interesting because it's the only gym. And uh, yeah, apparently it's like a man's only gym. But uh, they have a really good equipment over here. A little rugged. Got a pretty pretty interesting feel to everything. So there's the upstairs chest, like upper body workout. Downstairs lower body. So I like how they kind of split that apart. That's really that's smart, dude. Upper body's upstairs. Yeah. Lower body's downstairs. Plus that makes sense because if you're deadlifting and shit, you're how be... small it is, they, they make do. Oh yeah, they make do, definitely. That right there. All right, all done working out, guys. Headed down to uh, Nando's yet again. <laughs> what, our sixth time, fifth no, or sixth time? Fifth. Yeah, fifth time going to Nando's. But yeah, you gotta get a whole chicken every time you go there. So, you ever had a... that's what we're doing. Back at Nando's again, we have a whole chicken for me, a whole chicken for Lovato. Jeff's got like 20 wings, 10 wings, a hell of a fucking potato. I got potato, I got salad, beans to split with this guy. This guy chops the salad up. He makes it volume, volume, volume. Alright. Let's get it home, guys, from Nando's. All of us right here. Uh, I'm starting to like riding the bus. It's pretty chill. It's pretty nice. Um, Head back to Thread Needles. See you there. Equip me, little bitch! Oh, his cake!